There's a really annoying and disturbing trend in movies of late. I'm wondering if you have noticed this. It's the use of these high-pitched piercing sounds in movies, sounds that resemble tinnitus. For those of you who don't know what tinnitus is, it's a chronic high-pitched ringing in the ears. It could be other sounds, but it is often the high-pitched piercing sound. It is a very, very difficult thing to deal with. I've had it myself personally. I had it severely at one point a bunch of years ago, and luckily I was able to resolve it. Now, Western medicine does not not know exactly what this is, whether it's specifically an ear-related problem or what it is, and they certainly don't really have any real remedy for it or cure for it. It's a very difficult thing to deal with. It can be so distressing for people that people have literally taken their own lives because it's a, essentially a form of torture. You have to imagine what it would be like to be being exposed constantly to a high-pitched or other sound that is so loud it impacts the quality of your life. As a horrible example to use, I know that uh, one part of what the U.S. government used in torture was very loud music. I think they were using music, Metallica music, playing it over and over again extremely loudly to prisoners as a form of torture because it's considered to be Geneva Convention safe or whatever. It's, it's actually appalling because it drives people mad. So... The, the tinnitus, although I've had tinnitus, I've also watched this topic trend over the years, whereby it seems more and more people are acquiring tinnitus through who, who knows why. And since there isn't really a resolution for it, for many people, it's a, it's a very distressing and stressful thing to have. Now, one of the, some people will get this if they already have tinnitus, it will definitely flare up when they're under conditions of stress. There's no question about this, and it's often the high-pitched sound. What I've noticed is that movies, and a great example to use is Dale Spires Club. This scene specifically has it, but it's also throughout the rest of the movie a lot, and plenty of other movies are using this. Now, during this specific scene, Matthew McConaughey's character is getting out of the car, and he's grabbing his head somewhat, so he's there's a chance he's actually dealing with a form of tinnitus, and keep in mind in the movie he has AIDS, so it could be a consequence of his illness that they're trying to express on screen, but... They're also using this during many, many other parts of the film where there is no discernible effect that he's having any kind of an issue with his head or his, ear, or his ears at all. They're using it solely for dramatic effect, and that's what bothers me because so many other movies are using it. It's almost as if the movie industry recognized this trend in the increase in tinnitus-related issues with people, the masses in general, and said, hey, let's use that high-pitched piercing sound as one example in our movies to create more dramatic effect. We'll, we'll use it during the stressful scenes, and it will stress people out and add to the, the quality and the impact of the tension in our movie, when in fact all it's really doing is pissing a lot of the viewers off, such as myself, and it's more of a, an annoyance and makes me not want to watch the movie, not too dissimilar from people who might turn away during a violent scene, for example. I don't like the use of this in movies. It does not add to the quality of the movie at all. It does not add to the dramatic impact. It just pisses me off and makes me make sure I won't watch the movie again. That's my video. Thanks so much for watching. Comment below if you've experienced this and know what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching.